Hey everybody, my name is Ryan. This is my Raspberry Pi Sprout. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sprout Tutorials. Today we're looking at a pretty fun side project that I've been working on. Uh, this is a Python program that scans your Minecraft server logs uh, for certain information. Specifically, uh, I'm looking for uh, whenever a player, oops, uh, player logs, oh my gosh, in or out of the server. Um, I like to know when my friends are online and uh, I don't, you know, sometimes you have to open up Minecraft or, you know, go all the way there to see if anyone's online. But this way you can just kind of hop on your Discord server and uh, see that information for yourself. So this is a new project. Uh, this is my Minecraft server, by the way. If you guys want to play, come on over. Uh, maybe I'll post the IP in the description. It is a Forge server, so you need some mods. But I have a video on my channel that shows you how to do that. Um, so yeah, this program has a lot more practical applications though than just whenever a player logs in or out. You can customize it to scan the logs for anything you want um, and then send a message over to Discord. So let's see what that looks like. Um, let's hop over to my GitHub page. And of course I'll post this in the description below. And let's run through this code real quick. It's a pretty small program. It's only 48 lines long. Um, and I will tell you guys right off the bat, I am not a professional programmer. I'm pretty new to Python, and I've mostly been using ChatGPT to help me out with this sort of thing. Um, you know, ChatGPT is not omniscient, but it is really, really helpful for beginners like me anyway to kind of get a grasp of what all these lines of code do uh, and can direct you towards... Uh, what you want. I, I think I started this conversation with something like, I want a program that sends notifications to my Minecraft server when people log in or out. And uh, it just started writing the program. So yeah, see, it's already doing that. So we'll stop that. But if, if you're interested in this sort of stuff too, um, I recommend starting with ChatGPT, but then also utilizing channels like, you know, Python on Discord. They've got um, uh, like this is a channel where um, I posted my code and you know I was having some problems and you know these guys were really helpful so anyway a uh, combination of chat GPT and uh, discord and my own dumb luck so let's get into it um, and you can't just copy and paste this code if you if you don't you know want to listen to me and just copy this uh, that won't work so just stick with me and uh, we'll go through each line and kind of tell you what it does um, so this one here is a bunch of uh, import uh, lines of code from Python that this one more or less lets you send HTTP requests over the internet. Uh, this one processes various time functions, I believe. And RE is what allows you to parse information from the logs. Um, so let's hop over to the, um, the logs directory and I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So um, this is just the latest.log file in my log directory, and um, that re function is parsing uh, information like uh, time and also player name. So we'll get into that in a minute. Um, this is really important. This is why you can't just copy and paste the code. You need to uh, modify just two things, I think. Uh, first, you're gonna need a webhook URL. So hop over to your favorite uh, Discord channel. For me, that's my uh, Minecraft server Newlands. And uh, you, for me, I made a channel called in and out um, which uh, is, as you can see, where all this information is going. So I go up to Newlands, I go to server settings, and go to integrations, and uh, click on webhooks. And if you don't have a webhook, you'll click new webhook, and you can, you know, uh, create all the information here you want. I created one called Logbot. Uh, all you have to do is copy the webhook URL and paste that here. And make sure you don't advertise this information. Um, I accidentally published my URL on GitHub once and it automatically stopped working. So keep that secret. Keep it safe, as Gandalf would say. Um, next is a dictionary to store the events that have already been sent to Discord. Uh, when I first wrote this program, it was spamming my server like every 10 seconds over and over and over as it reread the logs again and again and again. So this is basically saying, hey, I already sent that to Discord. Um, you only need to do that once. 
So if you want a continuous loop, you can delete this, I guess. Um, this is the function that actually sends the message to Discord. And we'll remember this part, because if you want to change the uh, thing that the program is scanning the logs for, uh, you can edit this as well. But we'll come back to that in a minute. I would just leave all this alone for now. Uh, and here's the function that actually reads the server logs. So first you're going to need to find the path to your Minecraft log directory. Um, you can see that here. Um, so mine is in the opt and my uh, directory is called, my Minecraft directory is called forage because it's a forage server. And you can see here is the logs directory. So we cd over to logs, um, lots of logs in here. Now I believe if you just go to the logs directory, it should just automatically look at latest log, but you can also um, finish that path with latest.log and that works too. But I, I think I just have it opt forge logs. Uh, okay, so here is the sort of uh, heart of the program. So this line is saying if I see and then whatever you want. So for me, that's the words logged in. Um, let's cat latest log again. So let's find my buddy SylvanX2, here he is. So here it is, SylvanX2 logged in. So it sees that information and it parses the player name, the time of the event. Um, and then it says, if the player logged in at time of the event, uh, you send the message that player logged in to. So again, if you wanna change this to like, you know, if you wanna know when a player gets the achievement I don't know, what is it, cover me with diamonds, or you know, maybe types a certain word, you could change that here. Um, and you could also change the message that they sent as well. Um, and this as well. So it, it's customizable, play around with it um, about the information it sends you. But uh, for me, just the login and logout is pretty uh, utilitarian, I would say. I think it's a pretty cool function. Uh, and then the same code goes for leaving the game. So again, if we go to the logs, um, I think here's, yeah, so left the game. So it sees that, uh, parses the information, the name and the time, uh, and then uh, sends the message. So it's saying if the player loses the connection um, or the event is lost connection at time of the event, and then it sends this message to Discord. Let's go back over to Discord so we can see it. Um, here, yeah, so last connection from the Minecraft server, and uh, that's what it says. So again, you can change that. You could, you know, write something like fell out of reality or something, you know, have fun with it. Uh, and then the last one is basically saying, while all of the above is true, uh, read the logs every 10 seconds. So read, sleep, and then do it again. Uh, and remember, it's really important to include this, otherwise it'll just loop it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward program. If you have any advice uh, on how to optimize this, please let me know in the comments. I'm, again, not a professional. I'm very much an amateur programmer, but I did have a lot of fun learning about Python for this. So um, now what you want to do is uh, you want to make your Python programs. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, just go to any directory you want. This is my Python directory where I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, and we will do sudo nano uh, test program.py. So just copy and paste all the code, boom, and then that's it. Uh, and remember to change the path to your logs and your webhook URL. Uh, and let's clear that. I'm going to go ahead and run the program. So if you just want to run the program as like one time to test it, you just do Python 3. Mine is in and out.py. I'm not going to open it because my webhook URL is in there. Uh, we press enter. And I should get, yeah, 7.02 AM. Cool. And that's the most recent information. We have a pretty quiet server, so there's not a lot going on. Um, but there it is. Pretty neat, right? Um, but if you don't want to have to run the program manually every time, of course, what we want to do is um, set up a system D service. Uh, and I've done the, a video on this before, but let's do a quick refresher. So um, mine is called in and out dot service. You can call this whatever you want. So let's uh, get in there. And I'll copy and paste this information as well. Just make sure you 
copy this, don't change that. Um, if you want to have a different user with permissions, you can change it. I'm just using user pi. Uh, make sure you choose the right working directory where the program lives, which is here. Um, and then to start the program, you're going to run user bin python3. Python3 is the command that runs Python programs. And uh, that's going to be directed at this program in this directory. Uh, make sure you have a restart on failure, just in case it fails. You want to restart the systemd service, and uh, that is pretty much it. And whenever you're running a systemd service, or you edit one, or make a new one, uh, you want to do sudo system, I think it's system ctl uh, daemon reload. Once you press enter there, uh, you'll do sudo service in and out restart, and uh, that should be it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, enjoy it, have fun, I sure did, uh, and let me know what you think in the comments, again, about any optimizations, and come join our Minecraft server if you guys want, it'd be really fun to have some more players, like I said, we're pretty small, but um, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun server, I'd say, because I built it, so yeah. Okay, peace.